Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is week nine of seeing if my Garmin 265S can train me to a PB. So yeah, it's week nine of the challenge and the race is next week. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where the last eight weeks has gone to be honest it all feels like a bit of a blur um, and at the same time I just feel like I'm looking over at my spreadsheet um, and yeah, I've done a serious amount of mileage actually and I think this challenge has made me very consistent in just yeah following a following a plan um and it's definitely been a really fun experience um, and it's not over yet so I don't know why I'm talking like it's over um but yeah so it's it's Tuesday today actually um yesterday was a bank holiday so yesterday was I'd say a, a long run actually um it was an hour and 20 minutes and really really enjoyed it actually just tried to keep a very kind of consistent pace of about 7:30 a k um went with my brother and that was great I actually didn't take any headphones or anything with me and we just chatted so it was truly conversational pace um, for the whole of that run and then I've literally just got back in from doing another run with my brother and today it was just a 39 minute easy base run again like super easy I say super easy but the absolute mad thing um, I'm finding in this challenge is how much quicker I can do the base runs while maintaining the same um like a, a faster pace basically i've said that really weird in a really weird way basically the same type of run is i can do a lot quicker than i could like week one week two like for example one of my first runs i'm looking back on the 13th of march um was 755 a k 14th of march base run 817 a k and today i've just got back from my base run with majority like i think like 90 percent plus zone two heart rate and i was averaging seven minutes a k which is like 30 seconds faster than my marathon pace from october so uh, everything is saying to me that it's <laughs> the watch is right my vo2 max is improving i'm getting fitter I'm feeling like I can sustain faster paces. I'm so sorry if you can hear like heavy breathing, panting. I've got both the dogs next to me and they're like, <laughs> but I do feel like I'm, I can hold like a faster pace for a, without as much effort. Um, I'm just keeping my heart, heart rate quite low. So yeah, so for a bit of a roundup, <laughs> I think it's working, but we'll, we will see next week. And obviously, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm my my idea is that I basically really take Garmin very seriously and pace put together a pace pro plan, which kind of matches what my race prediction is, and just see what happens. Um, you know, <laughs> that's that's the best I could do to be honest. The course, by the way, for the ten k is I'll put a picture up here. It's quite an uphill. Um, I think there's 4k along a towpath which is pretty flat and then it is a downhill finish so it's not particularly a flat course but you know we'll see what happens so yeah we've just done a base run yesterday was a long run and I think I'm just gonna say what tomorrow's got in store and I'll catch up with you there hey it's Wednesday god how much does a bank holiday kind of throw off days of the week I was like I don't even know what day it is it's Wednesday and we've got another base session so yesterday we had a 39 minute base session and today we've got a 42 minute base session and tomorrow is the last day of the peak stage before we have the glorious taper well not really glorious is it ever we just get a <laughs> paranoia that we've picked up an injury and we're not ready and all that stuff but the sun is shining the weather is glorious this week it is sunny it's warm it is like mm, 10 out of 10 so 
I'm going to go with my brother again for a little wander down the canal because it's just my favourite place to run actually it's quiet apart from the midges and the little bugs uh, it's just really quiet and chill and nice and I just love it so that's what we're going to go and do um, tomorrow is looking like a very very spicy <laughs> very horrible threshold session I think it just wants the peak stage to kind of go out with a bang so it's like here's your last bit of torture before race day see ya so yeah anyway waffle over I'm off to run in this beautiful sunshine okay um I'm back do you know what was so weird about that run is it was exactly the same as yesterday like exactly the same pace exactly the same time and exactly the same distance which is really weird like to the to pretty much the second compared this is the last two days just nuts um i also screwed up a little bit i was looking at i was doing a little spreadsheet uh, and I was looking at the pace targets um, for the runs this week, just out of interest. And I'd left my watch on pace rather than heart rate. <sighs> Which wasn't actually the end of the world because, I mean, the really interesting thing is my, um, the pace that Garmin is asking for on these base runs, base runs, if we compare it to week two, or even week one. In week one, a base run, right, was 7.40 a K. Like, that's what it wanted for me. And today, it wants 7.05. And that is in the space of, like, eight, nine weeks that it's, you know, my easy run pace. Is kind of, not that there is really such a thing, but it's just come down so much. So I could comfortably kind... And also... The other thing I didn't realise with the um, pace targets on the Garmin is they're actually very, I'd say they're quite wide. I think it was like I could go from 7.45 a K to 6.30 a K. So maybe it's not the end of the world if I use the pace targets. I know a lot of people on Reddit have had success from using the pace targets, but we have been doing the start, right? Anyway, ramble over. Tomorrow, sorry for the suspense, we've got a threshold run um an hour's threshold run which is again it could change overnight um 10 minute warm-up and then two times 18 minutes at 5 35 okay and you know what on paper that looks disgusting and it probably will be disgusting but my god for the last peak run peak phase run like that's going out with a bang so I'm game. Let's let's do it. What, what have we got to lose at this at this stage? And then actually, it's looking like Friday's a rest day. What a treat! So yeah, that's tomorrow. We'll see. It. Sometimes I wake up and it's completely different, but we're done. Um, it was very nice. It was very warm, and I really wasn't in the mood tonight. If I'm being perfectly honest, but um, did it anyway. Go me. So yeah, I'll uh, catch you tomorrow for a disgusting threshold run and then we're into tape <laughs> good morning i'm up pretty early today um and i'm a bit wobbly it's like 10 days from race day and i'm just getting a bit of like fear it's half fear or half half excitement i think everyone goes through this i think i've just got a lot of pressure on myself because I really want this series to be to end in success um and also like I I'm I don't know I'm I'm not very well practiced on over a 10k distance I don't think um I've only ever run two two 10k races first one little green bib up there that was my first 10k and that was in May 2022 it was my first running race ever if you don't count part runs, which we probably shouldn't these days, but that's a controversial subject. Um, <laughs> we won't go into that now. So yeah, first ever running race was the Man Great Manchester Run 10K in May 2022, which I think was literally two years ago today. Um, and my last 10K race uh, is a little 
green bib there, the little one with the green stripe. Um, and that was from August 2023. So I don't run a lot of the 10k distance at all. Um, and I'm just a bit nervous about it because I really want to get a PB. Um, I've also had to like reprogram the race uh, into my garment because the course has been updated for this year. So I've, and it's not update the, the kind of website that feeds into Garmin hasn't updated it with the new course. So I've gone and downloaded the GPX file and uploaded it as a course into the Garmin Connect um, website because I'm a nerd and I like it to be accurate. Anyway, today's run. Even though I've reprogrammed um, the race in, so I've literally deleted it out and re-put it in again, it's still giving me the same runs for this week, which is very interesting. I didn't realise it, I didn't think it would do that. I was thinking, oh God, it could give me anything now. But it, apparently not. It, it knows It knows what I've done. It knows the history. It knows what I did have in this week, which I think is fascinating. Um, so today we've got this bad boy. <laughs> um, I think this is probably one of the hardest workouts I've seen um, in this whole, you know, nine weeks of training and oh help yeah we're gonna give it a go so it's 10 minute warm-up 18 minutes at threshold pace which Garmin seems to think is 535 okay I'd probably say that's accurate for the time that I want to hit it's probably a little bit faster than the time I would want to like the pace I'd want to run the 10k at anyway um so yeah it's two two eighteen minutes at threshold pace slash heart rate the heart rate effort I think is 173 but I'm going to try pace today because um, I think I just need the confidence that I can hit that uh, that, that speed <laughs> um, because at the moment looking at that I'm really daunted by it um, so yeah I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a really good go I think I've had similar ones but nothing like of this length so yeah it's an hour long so I'm going to attempt that half four it's pretty warm here as well <laughs> sunny but it's warm um but i can only do my best so that's going to be on the plan today but it's very early now and i will see you at half four right it is absolutely boiling out there um for the uk um and i am absolutely bricking it <laughs> this is such a hard workout but i can do it i'm gonna go positive proper warm up nice and flat this is fine one and a half minutes and then turn around. That's my plan. Out and back, flat road. Treat myself to a little drink from the shop at the end. Maybe another little Sprite, not sponsored. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, oh, it's horrible. It's so hot. Uh, it's a five minute recovery and I will not be jogging it. I'm just gonna walk. Oh my god. I think it was 5.41. So pretty much where it needs to be. Today's reminding me why I don't do pace workouts. Because my heart rate was like 182. And the pace, well the heart rate suggestion was 173. So I think I'm just gonna walk back and forth in this shady bit. Um it's just too hot. Um, but I can't control the weather, so I'm just gonna have to keep cracking on. But oh my god, that hurt. I also accidentally pressed the lock button during my warm out because I was trying to like turn auto lock back off again and ended up pressing the lock button. And so I did seven, I mean, I was nearly done anyway, I was seven minutes into the warm up instead of ten. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get ready to do the next bit. And I'll uh, see you the other side. <laughs> I thought I was going to be sick, genuinely. Oh, I think I still might be sick. I've never... It's very rare that I give up on an interval, but... Right, I'm going to try and go again. I think I was about halfway through. It's just so hot. I need a drink. Pollen's horrific. Sorry boys, cover your ears, but I've got a period pain. And uh, it's just not my day. No, it's, I hate this because it's making me kind of second guess whether I can do this next week. Because I'm like, I should be able to hold this pace. I should be able to hold it. Right, I'm going again. I have the right to 
Chunder and stop. That was a fail. I did. I did go again, but I just couldn't keep up with the pace, and that's why we don't do it by pace. That's why we do it by heart rate. I think I just wanted to kind of feel like I could do it next week, and I feel like I can't now. Whereas if I just went my heart rate, I wouldn't be second guessing my ability. Also, it's bloody hot. It's 22, which doesn't seem like a lot. There's no shade. There's no clouds. Um, really. I'm just having an off day, so I sacked it off. Annoyingly, two minutes before the end, but I just I was so close to being sick again. I really didn't want to be sick. So here we are. But it wasn't all bad, you know. Still seven and a half k on a Thursday evening. So it's not all bad. So I think if we're going to end on the positive, which I'm going to try to do, I think if it wasn't as hot. And also, if you remember, race day will not be 22 degrees. Even if it's 22 degrees that day, it's not going to be 22 degrees at half nine in the morning. So there's that. Secondly, as I've said, today isn't my day. I've got, sorry boys, sorry, very bad period pain. Too, so much so that I've had to take some pretty strong painkillers just to get through my work day. My hay fever is awful. And I should have brought some water out with me, but I didn't want to like slow myself down, so I didn't. And I could have, I could have taken some electrolytes out with me uh, and didn't. Also, have I fueled properly today? No, I didn't have eaten anything since 11 o'clock this morning, so we don't have any fuel. So all of these things are lessons learned. Um, Also, this is my fourth day running in a row. So I think I won't, I'm not rested. So with the taper, I should be in a better position for next week, but also we're just gonna do our best next week. So the story of this kid, his kids, feel your workouts, feel your workouts properly and accept some runs are not perfect and we've had some pretty good ones recently so this one was coming right i'll see you tomorrow for hopefully a rest day one last thing um i've been on my strava as as you do <laughs> as anyone does after they've run um look at my case why am i beating myself up I'm just going to compare it with the Pace Pro plan for the 10k next week. So, did I actually do a bad job? Not really. Am I beating myself up for no reason? Absolutely. Good night. Right guys, yesterday was a bit of a disaster. So I had my rest day on Friday, which was 10 out of 10 and very much needed. And yesterday I went out for a 39 minute base run basically the same one that is today which is Sunday um, and I've got like what I can only describe as shin, slim, shin splint pain and I don't know if it's because it's like taper phantom pain or it's a real shin splint so I'm back out Sunday morning and we're gonna see how it goes if it hurts see I gave it a K yesterday and it was still hurting but it did get better as I went along but I didn't want to risk it so today we're gonna try to see if it still hurts and hopefully it doesn't so I've got another 39 minutes which is about 6k so I think I'm going to do 5.32k <laughs> just to round up the mileage for this week um, so yeah that's my plan so I'm just gonna go around the block and see see how we go but yeah wish me luck <laughs> i really hope it's nothing serious hello right we're about a in uh garmin is definitely flirting with me again because he's given me a plus five performance condition so i'll take that um it's very muggy today very humid 
um, pain is a lot less than yesterday. The first 300, 400 meters, I was like, no, my leg is broken. And I have had some really weird bruising on the back of my thigh, my left leg, um, which I have been a little bit concerned about just because I haven't knocked it. But the pain where this like shin splint is coming from, there is a bruise. So I don't know if I've just really knocked myself about and it's just like the bruise hurts when like tendons, ligaments press on it. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Thank God. I'll be rubbish at it. So uh, yeah, now I'm about, I'm like a K and a half in. I can barely notice the pain at all. So I'm going to take that as a good sign and I'm just going to be really good for the next week. So like lots of icing, resting it when I'm not running and uh, just being a good girl in taper. I've also had a little look ahead at what taper looks like on Garmin and I've got a lot of like 39 minute runs. Friday, like two days before the race day, the rest day and then the day before there's a very short run with some strides which I thought was really cool. I haven't really seen a workout that looks like that before on Garmin. So yeah, we're nearly there guys, we're nearly at the end. <laughs> Holy moly. I've also got some very fetching neon compression socks, which you probably saw in the video of my studying bruising, but um, I don't really wear compression socks very often, but I thought can't hurt, can it? And maybe they are making a difference. So, uh, yeah. Right, I've just passed the halfway point and I think the pain is like barely even a one. So that's giving me a little bit of comfort because I know now that at least it's going to go away when I start running. I might keep up with the compression socks in case they have anything that's making a difference, but I'm just leaping back now. It's kind of like doing it out back, to be honest. Because, um, yeah, I just don't want to do any more than I should be doing today anyway. No silly times in taper. <laughs> and I am back. Um, do you know what? I feel so much more confident about next week based on that run, weirdly, even though it was at an effort. Um, I was, I... I don't know I was really worried yesterday because I was running through I was running through the aisle of Tesco in um, a pair of Air Maxes no Air Force Ones which are a quite heavy bulky shoe uh, and it was really painful in my right leg to yeah like just run on it it was I could just feel this like shin pain I was like no not shin splints not now but I probably deserve it <laughs> for the opening the upping in mileage um but um I think I'm just going to be sensible and just ice ice and rest the shit out of it until um, until next week. Um, I don't know if the compression so socks helped, but definitely once I'd done the first 800 metres to a K, um, the pain was barely there. And to be honest, by the end, I couldn't feel anything. So um, it, there is some bruising around it. So I'm wondering if, yeah, I am wondering if I've just bruised it badly which wouldn't be a surprise I do bruise pretty easily anyway I don't really know why um I'm trying not really to be concerned about the bru massive bruise on the back of my leg but I have got some arnica cream somewhere so I'm going to just try and put that maybe on the bit of shin as well anything at like this just just throw the kitchen sink at my leg and see what happens but apart from that um <laughs> we're a week <laughs> a week today I will have run the 10k so um it is full taper time uh and I am nervous. I'm excited. I know how much it's going to hurt. I know how much 10Ks hurt. It's like double, a, basically double the pain of a 5K. But I'm really excited to see where I'm at. Um, as of today, a week out, Carmen thinks I can run it in 56 minutes and 10 seconds. Which does feel a little bit optimistic, but maybe I just sh shoot for whatever it tells me I can do it in. And if I, you know, I'll see how long I can hold it. The, the weird thing is, and I know I've said this, I don't know if, in the, <laughs> I don't know if it was the beginning of this week's video or last week's video, 
but the run I've just done, <laughs> I think I averaged 6.48 a K and with the same heart rate. So I'm just loading it up. So I'm keeping true to myself. Yeah, 6.48 a K was my, uh, the run I just did the average, the average, um, average pace. Um, I also sped up so much in the second bit, so I just felt really good, despite the despite the crazy humidity. Um, but my heart rate was 144 BPM. That was like the average heart rate, and it will be high because it's it's really warm. <laughs> anyway, compared to that week one run where I ran a similar distance, so that was a 5.2k run, and I've just ran 5.3k. Um, my average heart rate for that run on week one was 143 BPM. Today was 144 BPM, so not that far off. Yet my average pace on that run was 8.17 a K. And today it's 6.48. And yeah, I, oh, I'm nervous, guys. I am nervous. Um, but I think taper, I'm just going to really prioritise eating enough i mean this i don't need to carb load for a 10k but it's just kind of being sensible um getting enough sleep no alcohol i don't really drink anyway but i definitely if i have like a gin and tonic a gin, a gin on tonic a gin and tonic i definitely feel the effects of it um my hrv like bottoms like just like pew, which is kind of what happened um when i was away from work away with work last week um i definitely definitely didn't get drunk but yeah two glasses of gin and tonic and it's all over for me <laughs> my hrv so yeah this week we are prioritizing sleep no alcohol eating sensibly and not overexerting myself so keeping the easy runs easy I think I've got one tempo session Wednesday or Thursday next week from the looks of it again could all change but yeah we've ended this week back at 36k so I'm going I'm going I'm sort of rambling I'm just so nervous um thank you so much for tuning in this week um next week I'm gonna kind of cough I'm gonna like add a bit of like race prep in so next week I'm gonna go through what I've done obviously my taper and then I'll kind of on Saturday I'll do a bit of like what my race kit is what I'm taking with me like my race bag basically and then I'm going to cut the video there and then I'll have a separate video the following week um or maybe mid next week depends depends on my schedule um on yeah a race recap basically um and then following that um I'm kind of thinking maybe we could do like a summary of how we found the challenge would I recommend it pros and cons uh if there's anything else you want to know or see um add some questions to the comment section and I'll try and answer them as well um, in a video because I think that might be quite helpful um, and then what's next Berlin Marathon is next <laughs> in about 18 weeks time so will I be using Garmin Daily suggestions to train me for Berlin Marathon the jury's out guys we'll see what the results of the race are and yeah I don't know I still don't know I've got a few other training plans on the back burner but half of me is a bit tempted but anyway i'm going i'm going thank you so much for tuning in this week like comment subscribe please comment because i love reading your comments um and i'll see you guys next week race week Ugh. thank you so much bye